welcome to the first of our mini workshops. Today we are going to be doing Cricut style cutwork cards. So, what we need. So I thought I'd start off straight away with everything you're going to need to do the entire workshop. So you're going to need, first of all, an uh, old cutting mat. So make sure it's one for your machine. Should you say that rather than you thinking cutting mat is not this sort of cutting mat, it's the mat for your machine. You're also going to need, and I'll get to these in a minute, some pattern paper, optional, but it's going to help you sort of when you get towards the later stages of the workshop. You're going to need some washi tape, so this is quite important. Um, Go for washi tape rather than masking tape because masking tape tends to be too sticky for what we're going to be using it for. So we're going to be putting this onto our cutting mat but also onto our card blank as well. Then I have an optional extra. So this is the Universal Pen Holder by 3D Pump Prints. If you have the brother one, that is fine. It's just if you want to add any detailing later on in the workshop. So sort of part three you, you know, that will come into play now for the ones you're going to need for everything so we have a metal spatula now this is important for helping us get intricate cuts off our mat and the other thing is we'll be removing the mat from the back as well you're going to need some kind of scoring tool um, this is presuming that you don't already have some um, pre-made card blanks if you do you can kind of skip that step but it's there in case you need a bone folder so um once you've cut your card front obviously that score line then becomes a bit more fragile and tricky to be able to fold so you're going to want to have something that's going to help you here and the bone folder is going to be the tool for the job Finally, you need some colourful card. Now, some of these might be pre-scored card blanks ready for you to actually create your design onto, while others are going to be used to go for the inserts. Okay, so get a good range of colours and we're going to be wanting to go for contrasting colours as we move through the workshop. And finally, I did say I would talk about the glue pens. So, glue pens. Why have we got them here? As we're going to be using old cutting mats, chances are you may have some areas of your mat that are no longer sticky. Now, the temptation is to grab a, a chisel one like this and go all over your mat. But actually, you don't need to. And what I would say is if you do that with your chisel nib, then what you want to do is make sure that you let your cutting mat dry completely before trying to put your um, card blank on ready for cutting. And by completely, I mean give it a good 24 hours to actually set. Now, if you are in a rush... You'll be amazed how little glue you can get away with. <laughs> so we can actually just give a little scribble with a squeeze and roll. So the idea being that you squeeze here, press down and apply across your surface. Now, if you do it really quick, you're going to get quite thin there. It's not going to dry. Um, it's not going to take very long to dry. I put my teeth in, honestly. Right. So those are the things that you need to gather for this workshop. So if you want to pause here and go and gather all your objects together, then you can do. Okay. I'm going to set these to one side. And then we can move on to our mat. So what we're going to need for our mat is our washi tape. And everything else for now can move to one side, like so. Okay, so with our washi tape, 
we are just going to set ourselves some lights. So I have an old beat up mat here and you can see that I already have some masking tape on it or washi tape rather from a previous job. Now I could use lots of little bits to do what I'm going to do today but I think in this case it's going to be better if I just set that up from scratch. So now you can see what I mean when I say about masking tape being too sticky. Sometimes even washi tape just is too much. There we go. It has been on there since before Christmas, so. <laughs> okay. So let's find the end of my tape. Always tricky. And our first line of washi tape, we want to put the top here. And we're going to put it above the one inch mark. Now, the reason that we do that is basically our mat has an active area that actually comes inside our black edge because we can't go edge to edge on our scanning cut. So, if we put our card up to this top edge here, when we do our scan background, we can't actually see the whole card. And that can mean that if we're trying to do things like a lining, it's going to be slightly off. So I prefer to just actually rough it out so that we have our guideline an inch lower. So I'm just going to pop that there. Now, your washi tape doesn't have to be an inch wide like mine is here. It could just be a nice thin one. Okay. Now, if you have a little ruler or a straight edge, then you can just tear that. I'm going to go for the card. In case I find something with a nice straight edge, I'm going to line it up inside that black line and just tear it up means that your tape has a nice straight edge. On this side, I could do the same, but for now, I'm going to leave that there. Now that we have our nice straight edge, our next guide is going to be our score line guide. Now, if you knew that you were going to do this type of card with the same size card every single time, you can map out your jig to suit that card size. But I was thinking about this and how I would go about doing it for different sizes of cards. And unless you're working with something that is wider than six inches when folded, then this is the way I would do it. So what we want to do is we're going to start our washi tape to the left hand side of our six inch line. So our six inch line has a six at the top. It's also the center of the triangle, so if you want to follow it down. And we're gonna go to the left hand side of it. Really important that. Because at the end of the day, we don't need the back flap of our card to be sticky as much as we do the front. Okay. So, I've put my washi tape all the way down to the bottom. It's unlikely that you'll actually use a card that gets that far, but you never know. And I'm going to tear that off. Again, nice straight edge. So, we have our score line, which goes down here. And when we place our card on our mat, we're always going to line up against this score line here and along this top edge and everything else kind of just flows. Now, if you are going to be working with a lot of um, 8x8 cards, for instance, then you could just put that, um, twist it round this way. So 90 degrees so that your one inch tape goes down here and then put your washi tape at the bottom of the 8 inch line. So here's your 8 inch line, 
your washi tape would fill this square here. Okay. And that will give you your score line while allowing the rest to dangle off the end of the mat. So it doesn't really matter how far you go off this end of the mat, so down that way. But also, if you size it just right, we can actually go through and out this end too. So long as your registration marks are clear. So your two squares on this side, your one on this side, or if you're on a CM map, your two dots and your two dots. Now, I would say that you are going to want to use a standard tack mat. If you have an artistic mat, that's fine too. Um, don't go for a strong tack mat because otherwise when we start to cut lots of detail, you risk damaging your card. And I think with that, we should be good to go. Now, very quickly, as I said, if there's any bits on your mat that you're concerned aren't quite as sticky as they should be, I'm just going to have a, a general quick fill over the top of mine. Then what we can do is just give it a quick squiggle and let that dry. So I'm just going to go, Wee. as I said, less is more and it's going to dry a lot quicker. Now I'm going to do some on this side too, but that's just because my mat generally has been used and abused and it's a little bit, a little bit grungy gunky and a little bit grimy and even though I've cleaned it lots it doesn't look like it so getting time for a new replacement but we'll see okay on to the next class so in the next class we're going to be showing you a really easy beginner's way to create one of these cards that video will be available on YouTube with adverts or on Patreon, add free for those that are supporters and above. So it's four dollars for a supporter a month, and then it goes up according to which tier you are interested in. If you want me to talk more about the tiers, let me know. Okay, thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.